the president is actually backing, fully backing Graham Cassidy. That according to White House Pooler, who was at the uh, on Air Force One with uh, the vice president. We didn't really know where he stood on this stand. So how much more momentum does this give the bill? Well, he'd sort of said sort of warm-ish things about it last week. Um, we still actually haven't heard this from Trump or, or you know, in person. And uh, his level of, invo of involvement so far appears to be maybe one or two phone calls to the bill's backers. So um, he hasn't, you know, really thrown the full weight of the presidency behind it. But this is at least a sign that the White House is going to, you know, thinking about trying to give this one more shot. It's kind of an interesting thing, the way this has largely grown up um, outside of the leadership. Um, there were senators, uh, Lindsey Graham, Bill Cassidy, who were really pushing this. None of the GOP leaders have been all that excited about this. And really, even most of the Republican senators weren't taking that uh, weren't taking it all that seriously until about yesterday when they started to realize that, well, maybe this thing is going to get a vote after all. It still, though, is not yet at the 50 votes it needs. Right. And again, that same pool report suggesting that Vice President Pence is calling senators, including Joe Manchin, and telling senators there are 12 days to pass the health bill. I mean, is it is it possible if 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 it doesn't get if it doesn't pass this time, uh, it'll be another failure. Why, why do that? Why go for it unless you've got a good feeling it'll pass? Well, that's exactly why leaders really had not been getting behind this, um, uh, this push. And even the statement from uh, uh, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell today, he basically said, well, it's an intriguing idea, which is pretty far <laughs> short of, of yeah. a strong endorsement. No, I think they're very worried about the prospect of going and failing one more time. And no one wants to take one more vote just to have it not go through. So um, mm. I think you're, you know, they still haven't made a full decision to go ahead with it. We're not going to see a full score from the Congressional Budget Office looking at the full estimates about its uh, effect on coverage and cost and everything else. It'll be a very truncated uh, uh, version of an estimate just to see whether it conforms with the Senate rules that are allowing them to pass this with only 50 votes. There's going to be changes to the bill, perhaps negotiated with Republicans, but also because the parliamentarians likely to strip certain parts of it out. There's a whole lot of moving parts that they then have to uh, uh, sort of cope with, understand, and then sort of pass it all before September 30th. And the fact of the matter is, there's still very few people that understand exactly what this bill would even do.